Hi guys, thanks for stopping back at the Cranberry Corn Stock YouTube channel. This time I did things a little bit different. I have not been online for a couple of weeks. My daughter-in-law asked me to go with her to see her family to Florida, so I did not go on a little trip, and I can't wait to show you what we found. Uh, she had found a whole bunch of shark teeth, her and her family, and so I made some crafts out of them. I made some jewelry, which is new for me. I've never made jewelry before, and I'm gonna show you, I'll show you a brief picture in this video, but I did end up painting a picture. Our church is having a wild game dinner night, and they asked me, as they do, year to paint a wild game subject and this time I picked a fish it's a, a largemouth bass I believe something native to Pennsylvania so I wanted to throw that in there and I went through some steps step-by-step -step instructions as to how I painted the picture I am not educated in painting I went to art school for drawing I did not learn a lot about painting so I just kind of picked it up and I do my own thing I would love to hear comments from you if you have some ideas of how I can do better some tips and tricks that you've learned along the way and things that you liked about the painting that I did things that you didn't like I'd love to hear both negative and positive I always learn to grow on the comments that you leave so please uh, stick with me Play the video, like, share, subscribe it. Again, the cranberrycornstock.com if you want to purchase some crafts and decor for your home. Something new for us, something to break up the monotony of these dreary spring months until we get to uh, Easter and all the fun stuff when the weather changes. All right, stick with me. Uh, continue to watch and let's get started. I just continued to pull the colors I saw in the painting. I started with the baby blue and pulled it down from the top. That uh, was the water in the background. I used the purple dioxide in the center top to make it seem like it was farther away and a little bit deeper water. As you can see, I keep the same dirty water to clean my brush out each time because I like how the colors go together with just that little bit of water. It seems like it blends them better. I like that. And I just continued to work with the canvas and pull the blue water down into the floor of the river. Here I experimented with some glitter um, glue. I just wanted to see if it would come out when I was finished any of the sparkles after I painted on top of it. And it did. It came out a little bit. It was just an experiment I wanted to try. Again, it's just a glitter glue type thing. It's just a gray sparkly glue.
here I used the purple for the floor of the river and it wasn't soft enough so I took a paper towel, damped it and I just kept tapping to spread the wet paint out across the river's floor. It worked out. I just continued to keep pulling colors out of the photograph that I saw, any color I saw I brought into the picture and I just wanted to make sure all of my straight lines or my lines that were too uh, stark, I wanted to blend them and make them softer so I kept working with the edges until I no longer had those hard lines uh, that you can see on the fish so I just blended them with a lot of water, a lot of different gray colors and made the edges of the lines that I had from dark purple softer. Okay guys, that's all I have for the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel this time. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. That is the wide mouth bass painting that I did for today. Give me your comments, let me know what you think, and stick with me. I'll try to get another video out next week to show you the jewelry that I made. Take care and I'll see you next time.